Hi everybody and welcome to this tool center point and payload configuration video. In this lesson, I will show you how to set the tool payload, the center of gravity and the tool center point position and orientation. At the end of this video, you will be able to use your machine tending kit in an actual robot program. Now that you have installed your dual gripper and activate each of the grippers, it is time to set the correct payload. The payload is the mass that is attached to the robot wrist. If the payload and center of mass are not set correctly, the robot will act weird and can trigger errors. There is three methods to set your payload. First way is to weight everything. Nobody really wants to do that, so let's pass to the remaining two methods. Second, you can use the data corresponding to your robotique product in the instruction manual on your support website. Finally, the easiest way to do it is to use the payload and center of gravity wizard that can be found in the installation tab under TCP. In this video, we will use the third method. Click on the wizard icon. Follow the instruction in the wizard. Place the gripper in four significantly different positions and save each of these positions. At the end of this procedure, the correct payload and center of gravity should be set. To test this step, press on the free drive button behind the teach pendant. If the robot stands still, you have correctly set your payload in your center of mass. Now that the payload and the center of mass are set, we can move on to the TCP configuration. The TCP is the tool center point. In the machine tending kit, we will be using two different TCPs, one per gripper. The TCP is located at the end of the gripper's fingers. To set the TCP correctly, create two TCPs with significant name. Identify which gripper is number one and which is number two. Use the data in the instruction manual and enter the TCP position. In this particular case, our gripper 1 is in the X plus direction. So we will enter the data X154, Y0, Z161.5. The other gripper is in the opposite X direction. The right TCP position data is X minus 154. Y0, Z161.5 Note that if you use different fingertips, you may need to recalculate your TCP position or use the TCP wizard. Now that we have set the tool center point position correctly, we need to set their orientation. Gripper 1 needs to be set at X0, Y0.5 7854Z0. Gripper 2 needs to be set at X1.22, Y0, Z minus 2.887. The TCP orientation will remain the same even if you use different fingertips. However, if you use a bracket with different angles, your TCP orientation won't be the same. In this situation, you may want to use the wizard to set the correct orientation. To test if your TCPs are correctly set, start by setting the first TCP to default. Then go in the Move tab and rotate the robot around the Z axis using the, the arrows. The robot should rotate around the first TCP. To test the second TCP position, go back in the installation tab, set the TCP2 to default by clicking on the default button, then go back to the move tab and rotate the robot around the Z axis. The robot should now move around the other TCP. 
So that's it for the TCP and payload configuration video. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Join us in the next video to break down the barriers to automation.